Fit like a bee, Danny boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. We are here at our newly purchased hellhole, uh, Beecher's Hope. It's not much to look at the moment, but hopefully we'll get in shape for doing at least something. Now we have to go and see Uncle, who is asleep in the cabin. I thought he was round the back near the campfire. Where the hell's the door? He is round the back near the campfire, okay. <laughs> Working hard? It's the lumbago. I am I overdo it, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! <laughs> I'm up. Oh no! Wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Hey, so we're going to go see Charles. Oh, we're going on the train. That's nice. Back in San Denis. Come on, let's get off. <sighs> How much did that train ticket cost? I never liked this place. Oh, yeah, oh, me neither. Follow Uncle, okay. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the saloon. Uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the <laughs> Ask for Charles at the saloon or the fence. Man, I wish I had my horse. My horse is here. Excellent. How did the horse get here? Was it transported in by train overnight? Who knows, but it's here anyway, which is nice. Now we don't want to ride too fast through sand and knee, lest we knock someone over. There is a police officer there. Uh-oh. This was dumb. Okay, so we're heading down this way. Uh, excuse me, sir. No, 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 no. Right, the fence is here. Uh, there's a horse and wagon coming, but that's okay. Ooh, this door does open. Very nice. Bartender. Hey, partner. Howdy. You seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure. I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Okay, so we've got a beat on Charles, that's nice. St. Saturnine's. Okay. Okay, so let's go around this way. Excuse me, sir. Did I just wipe that guy out? No, no, we missed him, that's fine. Uh, uncle's already here. Lord, I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. And he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, surprise, turns out. <laughs> but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... 
You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Bet on Charles. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic That was a lot of money. Descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left. A ferocious battle from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Come on, Charles. You know what to do, Senor Smith. Potter, no one's gonna kill this fool. What is this? Come on, Simon. Don't black out just yet. Hey, good shot, Charles. Pretend he's Micah. Ha Pretend he's Micah. Oh, he's down. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf. Whoa. How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> So it goes. Here's your share, partner. Well done, Charles. You made us some money. So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Forty dollars. Awesome. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm bit of a draftsman myself nowadays he was a good man as much as any of us could be getting sick like that has to rattle a fella well, rattle him or give him some kind of understanding what his life was really all about yeah Hello. that makes sense anyway I heard all you were dead or I might have come looking and me the same about you Dutch who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. 
I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. He never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. <coughs> uh, Come over here. What? <coughs> Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> oh, great. We're in a good fight already. You couldn't have thrown that fight. That's just one fight. Evidently. What are those guns they have? Hurry up and get your bag. Jump on the wagon. Come on, John. I'm a coming. Hey, yeah. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. We're stealing a wagon. Excellent. Do I have any other guns? No. You see any law? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> what? Remember that. Only totally minced that lady. Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have of denying it at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> You boys been off getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> nice, we escaped. Excellent. Okay, now what the hell's going on? Ah, here we go, we're back in the old homestead. I've got another mission for CD, we're gonna go see Uncle though. Ah, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. what I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. 
I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's all <laughs> dumb. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Uncle's well, horse looks diseased. Let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Uh, the house is coming down. Into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay, you keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Okay, so we're going back into block war. Come on, lady. Uh, let's actually go into the map lest I get lost again. Alright, uh, so we are heading for this guy. Now, that's Sadie Adler. We are looking for... Taylor, Butcher, Photoshop, Barber, Post Office. Where the hell am I going? Bounty poster. So we can do bounties as well. Right, let's see if it gives us a prompt. Home improvements for beginners. Looks like we're heading right out of here. My horse is a little low on health. Let's give her an apple. Yeah, she's better now. So I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to be going in town. The only mission is for CD. Or it may be that we have to look for the lumber yard or whatever the hell it is. <coughs> We're not gonna jump the wagon. No, sorry, buddy. Right, there's a hotel there. Insurance? No, we're good for insurance. Talk and feed. There's the police. Ok, 
could be in there. Oh, it's just a building site by the looks of it. Let's go and see Sadie. Sadie's in the saloon. Maybe we have to go and see Sadie as part of the mission. I don't think so. New face is always welcome here. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And... Which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north, so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course. Okay. <coughs> All right. Here we go again. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Fall City. Okay. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or trot down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land? I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. 
the Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls? That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. But I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But... Not now. Come on. Okay, so we're on our way to go and rob this other bounty hunter that robbed Sadie. Poor decision on his part. But we'll see how we get on. Okay, hold on, I'm coming. Blank to the bounty hunter. He's got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton given back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the given back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we're going to be in a shootout in order to get this dude back. I don't think the other bounty hunters is going to hand him over. Take a look down in the valley. Okay. Look at their speed walking. So weird. L1 to equip binoculars. I think I see Can't them. see anything. Yep. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on, let's go follow them. Okay. I'm back on my horse. I'm waiting for you. Come on. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Yeah, I will follow you, CD. Uh oh, this is dangerous. Yep, I see them. <coughs> Press on, yep, got it. You won't get north through here. What are you doing, huh? You you're talking to me or like to I ain't used to having anyone with me. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Okay. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The 
canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Okay. You're the boss. Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Oh, uh, I need weapons, horse cargo. Take this. I'm coming. Carburetor PR. Witchfield PR. Springfield rifle. John. I'm a coming. Just hold on. Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Yeah, let's go with a uh, sneak. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. Sneaking always turns into a mass shootout. Total bloodbath. So, I would expect the same to happen here. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Okay. Do I have my knife equipped? No, I do now. I take it these men that work for Langdon or Langton are actually innocent, law abiding people that are out catching evil people. It's gonna really suck to kill them all unless they're bad. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife. No, I do not have a throw a knife. I do. You got it. Okay, let's move. Up ahead. Another one on patrol. I'll take care of it. Let's get some money off these suckers. Stealthily kill the guards, okay. Can't carry any more items, can I carry more money? Whoops. Yep, the stealth kill did not go well. Gonna get the rifle, rifle seems better. Oh yes, rifle's much better. I think there's a guy to my left as well. Oh, run, 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 run. Got my throwing knife back though, so that's sweet. What? Oh, nice. Whoa. He's dead.
gonna dead eye this sucker. Okay, this should be down. Getting our dead eye back up, which is nice. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Hell no. Hey. Help. Now I'm done with this. Come on. Uh oh. Okay. Can't see where the hell we're going. Right, he's dead. Oh, yes. He's dead. Let's reload. Oh, no. Come on, pick him up. Pick him up. <laughs> you keep shooting, CD. Still him on the back. Mount your horse. I'm surprised that guy lived through that. Let's get the hell out of here. Go, 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 go. Alright, shoot his hell arm. <laughs> oh god. Killed that guy, but his stray horse ran out in front of us. T boned it, and everyone went sky high. But we're out. We've made it. We are alive. Just. I need to relieve myself. 
There'll you be a book in your cell. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. Just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Can I hit him again? Hey, come on. <laughs> That's it. How do work ain't easy, John? No. Shoot, sure, is it? See, now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there? You didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Saving that one for later. Where the hell are we? Oh, we're back in Beach of Hope. That's nice. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. Will do. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's put him in the cell. Will do. Oh, he's going in here. Nice. Down you go, buddy. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, no yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well. John. Okay. Let's go, girl. Let's go and see the bank manager. Although it is night time, so I would suspect that the bank is not open. We need to buy a house or something. And I'm not entirely sure how one does this. Here. Yep, so we have to do the CD mission first. Excuse me, sir. Oh, the guy's open at night. Work here? Nice. No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? Each one. We also get to choose a house. Unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks. Maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. 
It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. Okay. I know the quickest way. Follow me. So we've got a house. It's nice. We're still riding though, we're still sort of on the same mission. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash, so it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry, we're not getting shot at. Oh yeah, I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Where were we? Okay. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. And he knows me. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. Okay. Whoa. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Quite some tools from Nils, okay. Okay. Uh, there he <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. 
Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any maid? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Mills. Okay. <laughs> Madness. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Then. And we're on the move again. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you. And men like me, too. Sadly. Hey, wait, hold on. Hey, something's not right. Oh, great. Oh, great. Everyone find some cover! Right, what have we got? Carbine repeater, sounds good. Some of them have got guns, some of them have got autos. Willard, how you hold up there? We get you out of here. Willard, you'll be all Oh no, they're behind us. Please tell me they didn't steal my tools. To reload again. They're pulling back. Come to the wagon. Are they pulling back? All right. You alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grab Mr. Wayne. All right. You stay here. Guard the wagon. Charles, come on. I'm gonna help you, bud. Whoa, autos. We've walked into something. Get some cover. You mean they threw us in? They're getting away with it. They climbed up in the trees. Shoot the ones up there first. They got me. It's not so difficult to die. These guys are pretty mean. Whoa! Nice shot. Even though it was at point blank range. Alright, let's go. Keep moving. He took him down the hill! Whoa, 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 whoa. Park in cover. Come on, get this guy. Oh, he's dead. 
Oh, that guy moved into cover at the perfect time. I don't know, but there are a lot of them. They die here, all right. Mr. Wayne, we're right here. Where'd they take him? Hold on, Mr. Wayne. Keep moving. Turn to Charles, okay. Whoa. Where's Wade? There's the tools. Now where's Mr. Oh no. Ah, poor guy. We gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. God. Could have looted them for some money. A minute ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner's. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. Let's get back up to the road. You all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody too. Is he? Is it bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them. Uh huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. Okay, place the tools in the wagon. All right, let's, let's get out of here. What they do to him? Nothing nice. Let's get the hell out of here. Wait for Charles. Oh. Come on, Charles. Okay, Charles is coming so we can go now. Get us back to beaches. Yep. The Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. But they're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure, for good reason and bad, but rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them. No, not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Men, women, children. Ended up like Wayne. Or worse. <laughs> okay, so we're back though. So that's sweet. Uncle! Uncle! You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. 
But I'm fairly sure we scared them off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. Okay, so that was our first run in with the Skinner brothers, but I would say they're probably going to be back again. I love you. Don't you forget that. Okay, so now what? We paid off some of the bank loan. Excellent. Good morning. Good morning, Charles. Good morning to you. Okay, but we are going to leave it there for the moment. We shall continue on in the next episode. But that's going to be it for this episode. As always, if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you would like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. But I've been Danny Boy, this has been Red Dead Redemption 2, and I will catch you later.